All right, what's up you guys? Hassani here with another video. I know it's been a while, but I got some exciting news, you guys. Um, actually, I don't know if you can see all this stuff, but I bought a lot of things um, that I'm trying to get into like filming a short film. So I bought all this stuff and I want to put it all together and uh, I want to show you guys. Uh, so my first thing that I bought is the Sony FX30. Um, since I'm, you know, since I'm new to this, I thought I'd go with the, uh, the FX30 instead of the FX3. I also bought the Zoom F3 uh, recorder. This is very good, 32-bit float, so I want to actually uh, get some good recording. I did go with this uh, this Movo this Movo mic. Uh, this I think this is the X3. Um, I got I heard a lot of reviews on this one, so I just wanted to go with that. Then I got the small rig cage because I'm gonna build this in the rig. Then I went with the camera uh, foundry, uh, Kayla, Kayla pipe, you know, the FX3, the FX30, uh, Cineback. So I got that, so I'm gonna put that together. All the stuff you see, I'm gonna put it together. And then I also went, this, went with Sure, I believe I said that right, the Nightwalker uh, three set lenses. So I want to start off with these. And again, all this stuff is not uh, donated to me or anything. Uh, all this was bought with my own money. Uh, I'm not uh, being promoted by anyone. But if they want to promote me and help me with this journey, I definitely appreciate it. So send away. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is um, go ahead, open up this stuff, and then put this rig together and see. I, I have not put nothing together. All this stuff is still packaged up real good. All right, so let's get into that right now. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna put the, the cage on. And this is a small rig cage. I like it. It's got the Arca Swift um, uh, plate down here where you can slide it on like tripods and stuff. So if I want to go out of the rig, I can do that as well. All right, so we're going to put this on first. All right, so there we go. Let's put this on. Cool. All right. I don't know why I'm sitting here struggling with this screw. Man. Okay, there we go. Man, there we go. All right. I think it's one more screw ball we have right here, I believe. Let's get this guy on. Hopefully that doesn't take forever. All right. Easy peasy. Now, take this one at the bottom. Okay. All right. All right. Now, HDMI for the HDMI. This is super cool. I'm excited. All right. Now I believe I'm supposed to put the top. Yeah. Let's put that on and go from there. I like this because it got so many holes you can put things in. But along with this city bag from uh, Camera Foundry, um, you got plenty of mounting points uh, along with this, um, with this small rig thing. So I like that. All right, so now I know for a fact, I gotta take that out. Let's see. guys can see this well on my top camera is my GoPro and my bottom my face forward camera is my Canon so my Canon ESR let's see I got everything right right I hope so nothing is backwards or upside down so that's pretty much how that's gonna go all right 
diamonds. I know we got. All right, so we gotta put this. Okay, you guys, so right here is when I realized that the quarter 20 to 3 8 adapter was a little snug and it was not going into the 3 8 hole on the small rig, and this happened. Oh, wow, it just broke. You gotta be kidding me. What? Wow. So, you're supposed to put this screw in right here and it just broke on me. So I'm hoping they're watching this and can send me another one. Um, that's weird. All right, so let me see, let me figure out what I'm about to do now, all right? All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I hope either, uh, this is, I think it's a small grid issue because this, the thread is not going into the small grid cage. So this, I don't think this is a Cineback issue, but if Cineback is watching, if Camera, fan, uh, camera, camera Foundry or Caleb Pipe is watching, I would like to know how can I get this screw in this, uh, this thread again. Or if Small Rig is watching, is there any way I can get another rig? Uh, because this screw is, is definitely is not gonna work and I paid a lot of money for this. So I would like some type of solution. Either one of you guys, please reach out, thank you. But I'm gonna just go ahead and just uh, see what this does. I'm gonna just screw the ones on top. Hopefully I don't have an issue with those. I'm a little bummed, but you know, we move on. So I'll go ahead and Go ahead and tighten that down and put this one in. Maybe I can figure out something else to tighten the bottom. But man, I, I believe this rig, man, I don't know. I think the camera cage is really, some of the holes is not like really good to go here. I mean, it's pretty solid at this point. I mean, it still moves a little, so I don't know what to do here. Um, none of the lines, none of the stuff, you know, line up uh, quite well. So I want to say this is um, a small rig issue. So a small rig, if you're watching this, um, I would like to a solution here. I mean, I pay for your cage and everything. So, but I'm gonna just keep it moving. And then, you know, again, I kept the screen out so I could put it in this nice little protected area here. I'll be able to do my controls here or whatnot. All right. Okay. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's gonna move a little, but we'll see. All right, so my next thing that I wanna put on is my top handle. I believe that's where it goes. I don't want to like strip anything like I did that one. I did that off camera and I regret even trying um, to attempt it. I put a couple of mounts, hope I'm not stripping that, but this here is for the monitor that I'm gonna be using. And where's that monitor? I got a feel, what is it called? Feel World monitor. And this is a pretty cool monitor. I like this, uh, I mean, I've, I've had this monitor for a while. Uh, got it off of Amazon, so. And, you know, come with this nice little uh, sunshade here. You can put on if you're in the sun, but I'm gonna leave it off for now. All right. And what I like about this, uh, this 
this new wear handle is that you can turn the monitor any way you want and you know adjust do your adjustments how you want it so uh for now we're just gonna do right like right there maybe and so far we got somewhat almost a perfect just the bottom screw is you know jacked up here i don't know what these uh washers were for uh, all right so next we'll put a lens on let's do that okay and again i have the shure night walkers which lets in a lot of light and it helps the FX30 because the FX30, I believe, is not good in low light. So we'll just go with the 35 here since that'll be one of the main lenses that I will be um, shooting with. And go ahead and take the tops off. balance we are but um, I kind of like this battery I use it a lot for one of my uh, lights it works very well uh, it doesn't work no more so but so far I'm kind of liking this and we kind of like almost balance here again we're gonna put a handle and this is the handle that I am gonna use and the reason that being let's go ahead and side here all right I mean I'm somewhat happy but then I'm kind of like you know upset um, I don't know when I bought that uh, this small rig cage but I know I can't return it I, I got it off of Amazon actually so but I know if Small Rig is watching, I hope you guys can like help me out somehow. And put it here. And then, you know, give it a nice little angle. Kind of like so, so I can see my, see what I'm doing here. Just like so. All right. I feel like that is pretty pretty swifty there what do you guys think all right and next is I'm gonna put this mat box on there we go and then I put this filter on you can definitely use the filter been a big struggle for me today huh go ahead and put the mat box on and so far we got a nice little camera rig here that that really balance out not too heavy for me either you know again um, I got more things coming in the mail. Again, I feel like, I mean, I can mount this mic on. You know, let's see here. Let's get this mic on. on here figure out where I can put the zoom at but I don't know this is this is just for now 
um, to see what I'm gonna do with this rig. And I believe that's everything that I'm gonna do with it so far. But um, this should get me started with some small, like some small short films. Uh, probably make them for like 15 minutes, maybe 20, 30 minutes. Not too long, but um, this is my, I'm gonna start off with the FX30 and then move on. I was gonna get the FX3 because uh, I really want that camera, but I'm gonna try it try a budget kind of like set up and see what I can make and maybe expire uh, other people's to make it. But again, this is the rig. Um, I got a lot of uh, other accessories that I can uh, mount onto this rig to make it even better. Um, I like the D-taps on the side. Um, yeah, um, again, I got stuff coming in, so this is not the last video of this. Uh, again, I got rails to go on the bottom so I could pull the focus. I'm thinking if I'm gonna do a manual or motorized focus, not sure, but uh, got all that stuff coming. Um, some uh, XLR cables for the mic and a boom arm for the mic, all that stuff. So, uh, but yeah, so far I'm loving it and I'm gonna rock with this. And hopefully Small Rig can get back with me. Maybe Caleb uh, can tell me, a, a, give me a different solution. I don't know, I mean, I, I pay for all this stuff with my own money and um, I would like, to, you know, for it to work properly. Uh, so if one of you guys can get back with me, please let me know. And uh, again, thank you for watching. Let's, let's do this. Man.